Is there anything in your vision that you can see kind of phasing in alternative energy so far as running the state? Let me, let me ask you a trick question. Can you name the city in the state that's done more energy conservation and conversion than any other city in the state? See if you can do it. Remember that I'm from the city of Stanford. That might, that's a hint. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let me tell you this. Since 1998, since 1998, Stanford City buildings, including schools, use 19% less electricity than we did in 1998. We have 13.5 acres of green roofs, meaning grass, bushes, trees on top of, top of roofs to, to cut down on, on energy loss. We're going to take our government center and put it on fuel cell uh, technology. We have three major uh, solar vo photovoltaic uh, installations uh, in, in Stanford. Um, two at uh, public works facilities, uh, one at a school facility being installed um, uh, this summer. Uh, we took uh, all electric school buildings and put in uh, uh, boiler systems, um, non-electric boiler systems, so that we could drive down the use of electricity, which you know is the most expensive uh, energy source, and, by the, and in this state, uh, very inefficiently generated with old coal fire plants in, in, in some of the cases. So there is nothing that I wouldn't do uh, to, to drive energy conservation. Now let me tell you what your legislature and governor have done. They've raided the accounts to pay uh, to, to help offset the cost of, of uh, those new systems. That's what they've done. She grabbed 14 million, then she grabbed 16 million, uh, and, they're, and they're on a money grab. Now, by the way, you know, you know how that money gets paid? You as a rate payer, right? You know this. Uh, you as a rate payer, when you pay, your, and we're on the same, we have the same electric uh, uh, delivery service, uh, CLMP. As part of your fee, you're paying into those funds to help people convert to other energy sources or to drive down their use. They've now raided those funds uh, for, for the, the, the uh, deficit. Um, so let me say it very clearly. I think we need to spend more money in, in that particular area. For instance, when, this, when the governor uh, gets this money from, from Washington, if I had been governor, I would have ordered every fuel cell I possibly could have ordered from the two companies in Connecticut making fuel cells. And I would have distributed them to communities uh, to get us off of, of uh, the, the traditional grid. So, you know, that, that's what you need to do. You need to think innovatively. Stop throwing money or, or away. Make jobs in Connecticut. My biggest complaint with the governor on, on how she's spending some of that money, she <coughs> had ordered $40 million worth of uh, buses with our money. Okay. Well, we need to replace buses in the state, I understand that. The stimulus package comes out. She grabbed, and there's $148, $148 million for transit projects. <coughs> she takes $70 million of that, and she orders buses. You know where those buses are going to be made? In Indianapolis. You know when we're going to start taking delivery of them? Two years from now. $70 million, not a single job in Connecticut. And you know what she's going to do with that $40 million? She's going to park it on the side for cost overruns on a bridge project in New Haven. So, you, you know, $40 million and $170 million, that's $110 million, and not a single job will be generated in the state of Connecticut, and we won't make the kind of progress that, that we could have made in fuel cell technology <coughs> being used for transit. Uh, the reason we've lost more manufacturing uh, in this state than any other state in New England and the Mid-Atlantic, you put those two regions together, Connecticut's lost more, more as a percentage of jobs, manufacturing jobs than either. You know what the biggest factor is? Our electric rates are twice the national average. So actually part of the answer relates to what we were just talking about. We need to do everything in this state within our power to drive down electric rates for manufacturing purposes, including uh, cogeneration, uh, on-site cogeneration, uh, giving people the, the, mo the, the money they need to build uh, many uh, power plants on-site for manufacturing in, in the state of Connecticut. Th that, that's the biggest issue.